Thank you, Mr. Speaker, and thanks, gentlemen, for yielding. In spite of widespread outrage, the U.S. Congress earlier this year did away with national Internet privacy rules introduced under President Obama. Why would you want to give out any of your personal information to a faceless corporation for the sole purpose of them selling it? But the state of California, the world's sixth largest economy, could start holding itself to a stricter standard. A new bill would force the companies that sell internet access here to change the way they do business. The bill does something real straightforward. Before your cable or telephone company can use your personal information and resell it, they have to get your permission first. The Electronic Frontier Foundation, which signed on in support of the bill, argues that without such regulation, it is a very risky world. It's scary. I mean, it's. It's a world where no one can go online and feel that they have any control about revealing personal and sensitive information about themselves. So why should we care about this law? Well, when a Californian like me sits down at a coffee shop and opens his laptop, the company that sells internet connection to this coffee shop can see everything that I do on the internet. And if they can connect that information to the last time I was on their network, pretty soon they've got a really good idea of who I am, where I am, and the sites I like to go to. Serge Eagleman, who studies privacy and tracking, points out that it's not what ISPs will do with that information themselves. The threat to privacy comes from everyone else who buys it. Political campaigns might go to some of these, you know, uh, data aggregators to try and figure out, you know, a list of people who they might think, you know, might support their candidate. Um, there's also uh, potential employers. So potential employers um, might be interested about your interests, um, about you know, whether they think that you're a responsible person based on those interests and your online activities. Uh, insurers could potentially use the information um, when determining you know, whether or not you're a, you know, a high risk or not. No internet provider in California responded to our requests for comment. But a recent national opinion poll indicated that the vast majority of Americans believe internet providers need the permission of their customers before they trade their personal data. Only one state seems to have heard them. Jacob Ward, Al Jazeera, San Francisco.